In today's video, we explore areas around Montrose and Gunnison, Colorado. I stayed at the Elks Campground in downtown Montrose, my home base for the summer. The advantage is they have the summer music series right behind my campsite. I was here for two concerts this summer. I took a day trip to Ridgeway Railroad Museum to see the Galloping Goose rail car that was used on the Rio Grande Southern Railroad. Rides are offered every Saturday, so that is still on my to-do list. While in Montrose, I was told that I must take a drive up on Grand Mesa, known as the largest flat top mountain in the world. The drive rises from 5,800 feet in Montrose up to over 10,000 feet on the Mesa. Colorado has been plagued with smoke from the western wildfires this year. This is one of the many lakes on the Mesa. I had to check out the camping available. Most sites were too small and tight for me. These deer were grazing right next to a campsite in Ward Lake Campground on the Grand Mesa, north of Cedar Ridge, Colorado. I continued on to Mesa and through Colbrand on my way to check out Vegas State Park before returning to Montrose. I picked a rainy day to pack up and leave Montrose for Lake Fork Campground. I had to get gas, water, and dump my tanks preparing for a few days of dry camping. The storm cleared as I got to my destination. I bought a solar panel system to keep my batteries charged when I don't have electric hookups. It worked great. I didn't have to start my generator once in four days. I took a short ride to check out the view across Blue Mesa Reservoir of Lake Fork National Park Campground where I stayed four days. I went on to see Soap Creek Campground that was recommended to me by a friend. Music 
I'm back at Lake Fork Campground on the Blue Mesa Reservoir near Gunnison, Colorado. And from here you can see how far down the lake is. When I was here a few weeks back, they said it was down 60 feet and they were gonna take it down to 90 feet, feeding water to Lake Powell in Arizona. You can see where the water's gone down recently. Looks like five or six feet where it's wet further up on the bank. We'll go over and ask and see what the lake levels have been recently. Okay, they said the lake was down about 65 feet below full pond and uh, that they're gonna close September 6th, Labor Day. That's gonna be the end of their season for boating here, at least for the marina. They said the boat dock would be open until the lake ice is over or the water gets low enough that there's no boat dock left. And this is the Mara Point Dam. So this is the Gunnison River that flows down and into Black Canyon of the Gunnison. And you can see the muddy spot there. That is the Cimarron River flowing in from that direction. I took a day trip from Lake Fork National Park Campground on the Blue Mesa Reservoir up Highway 92 to Crawford, Colorado. This is the Mara Point Reservoir between Blue Mesa and the Black Canyon. Watch out, this guy was two feet into my lane. I had to hit the ditch. I had been to Crawford from the other direction earlier in the summer to visit the north rim of the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, but hadn't seen the rest of Highway 92 from there to Blue Mesa Reservoir. Returning to Blue Mesa Reservoir, I pulled into the observation point to take pictures of the dam and the river. I took a day trip from Elk Creek National Park Campground through Gunnison and up to Crested Butte and on to Keebler Pass and back by Ohio Pass. I only took a couple of photos with my phone that day. You may be able to pause the video and read the headstone which gives a history of Ruby which was located at the top of Keebler Pass. I moved to Elk Creek National Park Campground on Blue Mesa Reservoir for an eight day stay. I took a day trip from there up to Lake City, Colorado and on to Slumgullion Pass. The bridge across the river is a driveway up to the houses on the ridge above the river. Lake City is on one end of the famous Engineer Pass from Ure and the Million Dollar Highway. Bikers and four-wheelers I talked to said it was an easy drive to the top from Lake City, but it was rough going on to the other end. I'll save that ride for another day when I have a more capable vehicle. Today's day trip is to Slumgullion Summit between Lake City, Colorado and Creed, Colorado. I left my car running in the background if you can hear it. It had a little trouble starting at the last stop, so uh, this time I left it running. It seemed to be a little starved for oxygen or a little overheated. Uh, it was a long climb up here. View of Red Mountain from Slumgullion Pass. View of the San Juan Mountains from Slumgullion Pass. Slumgullion Pass is most known as part of the Slumgullion Earthflow National Natural Landmark. About 700 years ago, a large chunk of decomposing volcanic rock slid down the mountain to form a natural dam. This blocked the Lake Fork of the Gunnison River and created Lake San Cristobal. That's all for this trip. 